Do any of you remember, uh, this was a famous incident, actually an infamous incident in New York, a man arrested uh, for wielding an axe around a New York City McDonald's. He was released without bail at the time. New York Post is reporting uh, he was arrested yet again and released without bail. Uh, there is a pattern to this, and doesn't Ted Williams know it? In fact, the former D.C. homicide detective, Fox News contributor, he's also a lawyer. That part of him should be suspicious, but but he's very good at what he does, and he can give us an insight. And Ted, uh, to your credit here, uh, you had cited this as as, as a real problem. Uh, so many who get arrested and then get released, uh, sometimes again and again and again, it's out of control. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, uh, Neil. Crime in America clearly is out of control. I really believe that at this stage, we can no longer continue to stick our head in the sand when it comes to crime in this country. I think that clearly we are at an emergency state and it perhaps maybe needs to be declared. Look at that McDonald's situation. The guy comes in with an ax, threatening the hell out of people there at that McDonald's. He's arrested let back out on the street. He goes back on the street, he commits several grand larcenies, he's rearrested, and he's let back out on the street. Uh, Neil, I can tell you, that is very demoralizing to law enforcement officers who are trying to serve and protect us in these various communities. We've got to do something about crime. We've got to get a handle on crime in this country, and we don't have that uh, under control at this time. I'm always trying to find what was, what 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 got us here. I mean, I, some of the early arguments for uh, low and no bail uh, was uh, because it was disproportionately affecting those who could ill afford it, uh, and so for a, a negligible offense, it didn't seem necessary. But these are more than just negligible offenses. These are serious, life-threatening acts. Uh, so what happened? You know, Neil, uh, we've somewhat lost our way in this country when it comes to crime. Clearly, we had incidents like the George Floyd situation uh, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, uh, that uh, led legislators to believe that there had to be some kind of a reformation in the criminal justice system. Right. And clearly, I'm one that's on board that believed there needs to be some kind of a reformation in the cr criminal justice system. But we're going backwards. We are letting law-abiding citizens, we are leaving them very, very vulnerable here in our society. And we, we cannot survive as a society if law-abiding citizens do not feel safe. And, Neil, they cannot feel safe in our society with all that's going on. So where do we go, Ted? I mean, if we're reluctant to, to sort of slap down on the turnstile-type reaction to, to bad guys who do bad things and go back and do them even worse things after that, we're not going to solve this. No, no. What we need are legislators to legislate and to protect citizens and stop protecting the criminal element in our country. We need more law enforcement officers. Our law enforcement is now somewhat demoralized, and a lot of individuals who have done an excellent job have left law enforcement. We've got to try to find a way to recruit individuals to come in and protect and serve us. Uh, I've said on, on many occasions, you've got bad law enforcement officers, get rid of them. But the majority, the mass majority of the men and women that try to put on that badge and that uniform, they go out there and they try to serve the community. And now they are very demoralized by seeing criminals let back out on the street or before the ink is dry on the arrest papers. You warned us, Ted. Um, I got to tip my hat to you there, but they're not listening to you. Ted Williams, thank you very much. Good seeing you again.